level, level two stretches. We're gonna actually start with our dog in a down position. She's in this sphinx position down in front of me. We're gonna use a treat. I'm gonna, we're gonna have one hand to stabilize. Use a treat, yes. And get her to turn her head towards her shoulder blade. And we wanna work out both sides of the body. So I'm gonna stabilize here. Yes, very good. Take your dog as far as they can go. Don't be pushing them to stretch more than they can. Yes, very good. And we're gonna turn this way. Yes, very good. That was a nice stretch. Whoops, <laughs> yes. And we don't wanna move so fast that we flop them onto their side. So we're gonna do this way. Yes, very good, very good. And we're gonna try this side again. I might need to just move slower, yes. But what we can see is that this side of her body, her left side needs to stretch more than her right side. She's more flexible on her right side. So that's just something to keep note of as you're going through the program and as you're teaching your dog to stretch or showing your dog how to stretch down, that just like us, there's gonna be imbalances and we're using these techniques to show us these imbalances so we know what to fix in the future. The next level two stretch is going to be getting them to dip their head between their feet. And what I'd like to do here is not, not encourage her to lay down because this is how she was taught to down. I'm worried she's gonna, she's gonna <laughs> lay down. So what I wanna do is try to get this tree up underneath her front legs. Yes, good girl. And get her to dip her head between her feet. I'm gonna have to stabilize her, her back end because this is how she was taught to down. Yes. Good girl, very good. I don't wanna encourage her to go into a down position. We're encouraging stretching right now. So, treat between the front paws. Get her to dip her head. Yes, good girl, good girl. I'm gonna try one without stabilizing her and see how, how she does. <laughs> her rear end is on the camera. And everyone is frantic about their cookies this morning. Yes, good girl, but without the bow. I'm looking for her to just bend her head, bend her neck. So I'm, I'm gonna return to stabilizing her again so she doesn't lower her whole body. There you go, there you go. Good girl, good girl, very nicely done. Yes, good boy. All right, the third stretch is to get them to look right and look left. Good. They don't need to linger in these positions very long with their head to the left or the right. They don't need to linger there very, linger there very long. Um, good boy. Let's back this up a little bit. <laughs> but if your dog knows a middle already and they know a touch pad already, it can help them stay in position if they're, yes, on a touch pad, yes, good boy, yes, so we're looking for this stretch throughout here, good job, looking for the stretch on both sides. The final stretch for level two is a shoulder dip, push paws up, good, and we're going to see if we can get her to bow with her front feet up on this this footstool. Yes, very good. Wanting her to keep both feet up. She dropped one there. Yes, good job. Good job. And you want to return to the standing position. You can reward them up here. Good. And then get them to dip again. Yes, good girl. Good job. Reward up here. Good girl, and get them to dip again. You're snatching cookies out of my hand with your slimy tongue. Yes, very good, you're free. 